excited. <laughs> I should have jinxed it, right? Okay, let me tell you something. We're back. Good morning. I love everybody. Let's go. Day one, baby. <laughs> In terms of everyone getting together, getting acquainted with the new coaching staff, everything that's going on here has been, it's been positive. You know, obviously we're getting used to how Paulo wants to, wants us to play, how the assistant coaches want us to kind of work defensively and offensively. So it's been a positive experience here so far. This place here is going to be your office, okay? This is where you're going to take care of your body. That's why you guys are going to prepare for games. That's how you guys are going to recover for games. That's how we're going to have team bounding, whatever. Get used to be comfortable with this place, okay? Because this is gonna be where you're gonna be spending most of your time during the day. And last but not least, make sure that we respect in the staff, respect in the facility, respect in the environment that we're gonna be in here on a daily basis. I'm really excited for this challenge, but I'm telling you, we're gonna build something very special here. Very, very special, okay? So let's go. Pat Onstad. Paulo Nagamora really stressed the player first culture here at the club. You know, and so what does that mean? It means that to the extent to which we can, we want to eliminate the distractions for our players outside of the field so they can focus as much of their energy on performing, whether that's in training or whether that's in games. But we're a club that we want people to come here and get better. And in order to get better, we need the most amount of energy spent on our players honing their craft while they're with us. And that means eliminating distractions outside of it. And that's what Player First is really all about. Obviously, I think once Pat and Asher got here, including uh, the coaching staff, they want the players to feel really at home when we come to the facility. Paolo wants things to be done the right way. And I think that translates from when we're in practice to play like it's a game in terms of this way the intensity is correct. When you're in a game, you're not feeling shook by the, the pressure or the intensity of the game, so we try to make practice as realistic as we can. I'm a coach that I like my team to be very proactive, very very aggressive, very controlling games and, and be on the front foot. So I think that's what the fans should expect from, from, from our team. People describe Houston as a sleeping giant in soccer, and they do because there's so much passion for the game here in this city. With the new resources coming into the club, with the new people here executing the vision of our new ownership, we really have an opportunity to put a product on the field that resonates with the people here in Houston and can harness all of the opportunity, all the potential, the nine million people who live here, of the international fan base that's here. I think the fans here are well educated in the game, game of soccer or football but I think what's most important for them is uh, they want to support a team that's exciting, dynamic, uh, and a team that wins games, especially here at home at PNC Stadium. That's what we want to do here. We're here for one purpose and one purpose only, and that's to try to compete for championships. We kind of stated that goal quickly. I think Pat, from the, from the top down, we, we stated that we want to make the playoffs. A lot of it can be driven by the coaches, but from the players within, and including myself, I think we have a lot of good leaders on this team, and my personal goal is obviously um, act as a unit, so that includes Steve and the whole back line um, in terms of getting more shutouts, letting in less goals, um, getting more wins will obviously help us bring us to the playoffs.